I apologize for cutting the song right there. That was the best part of the song. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Uh, do I have Splatoon in the... Okay, yes. Yeah, I wanted to stop getting in the habit of having the game open. Uh, wait a minute. There we go. So I wanted to... Oh, hey, Zeno. Wait, can you say something? Something. Hold up. Uh, I can't tell if your audio is fucked up. Up to or what? <laughs> Alright, uh, it's good, it's good. I just need to turn you. Oh, go to 1.30. Ah. Oh, I can't get it to 1.30, it's not even. Okay, it's 1.34. <laughs> hey. hey. Hey, Bell, it's, it's fine. Yo. I, I couldn't get Zeno at the number I wanted. Oh, God, I thought this. Fucking post in Splatoon said something about asses. Oh, it said assemble. So that's two. We're just missing Dennis. Toro says ass emble. <laughs> I will get a lobby open in a moment. Also, I have a double uh, experience. I am fresh out of tickets for the cash ones. So. And uh, that double experience ticket is a bit unfortunate because I have a solo uh, 0.5 ticket active for myself. So I I don't know which one's going to kick in for me or fiddle stack. Uh I don't think fiddle stack, but I actually don't remember. Yeah. So, that might be unfortunate for me. And before you only get the uh point five bonus <laughs> and you don't get the double. Oh, Hang on, Dennis says he may not join. Uh, if you guys don't mind waiting a moment. Alright. Uh, so. I will just open the lobby then. I guess it'll be just be us three. Uh, because of that, I will not open up with a password. So, there you go. about all friends. Yeah, that way we can still get a fourth if Blue comes online because he's very likely to join. He is online. Assuming, of course, he picked Team Fire. Alright, lobby's open. Oh, wait, no. Splat touch is. I'm done. Never mind. Yeah, you are Ignore done. I said anything. Well, you're done. See, it's fine. You said it. Bitch, I said ignore the, what I said. Oh, it. it's too late. You already admitted you're done. I mean, we've been, no, but still. <laughs> that is true. I mean, had we actually continued hum the uh, Human Fall Flat stream, everyone would have learned firsthand just how stupid we actually are. Oh, god, yeah. Zeno and I together are two halves of a whole idiot. So. I really wish... Oh god, we got a Project M in here. Uh, oh, of course they're a brush main. Well, of course. Does that mean they're gonna get banned? No, it means they're uh, fans of Melee. I hope they get banned. <laughs> I'm just surprised that people still play Melee, because uh, it's oh, weird fuck. that Smash fans would stick with a game that's over 18 years old. Okay, I was gonna say, splash rolls only work if I can't get around them, but... Clever girl came from me. Decided, did that guy's name say Buttcast? 
this no, outcast. I think it's just outcast. Okay. Just with, yeah, you know, just a bunch of accented letters. Yeah, which probably means something, which means his name is actually nonsense. It probably means... Yes, most letters do mean something. I mean, <laughs> they are letters for a reason. Okay, I have a tactic here. Why am I doing that? I'm gonna do it. Do you want to share what you're doing with the class? I am stirring the hornet's nest. Oh, I haven't played anything other than, like, you know, Call of Duty for, like, two weeks now, so I'm not going to be doing very well for a while. Oh, they didn't last long. Oh yeah, there's a new COD out, isn't there? Yeah, I just talking about it. Yes, I... Directly to you. Yes. I just kind of forgot, because... Because I'm so just... forgettable? Yes. I hate you. <laughs> it's my birthday, and I hate you, and for my present, I want you to be dead. Oh good, finally. I'm losing track of the brushman that is in our base. Help. It's Project M, of course. Sturgeon Shipyard Taste Tester? Why would you pick that? Well, there's also a Goth Octopus on your team. Ah, finally he's dead. And You're I... welcome, Goku. Okay, I fell along. Don't mind uh, cleaning up the base for me. I kind of got caught. Okay. I completely neglected my special this entire match. How good it went off in time? I don't think we won. It depends on if they. Okay, yeah, they cleaned yeah. up the mess I made, Cam. Holy shit! That. Doesn't look like it should be that close. If they didn't clean up the mess I made over in their base, we actually would have won. Outcast looks like he cosplays as Skrillex. Yeah. That is an insult. Nobody mentions Skrillex without insulting him these days. <laughs> Wait, players waiting to join. That's blue. Oh. <laughs> Is it? I don't see him. Yep, there is. Oh, that's close. I really need to push Dennis to actually, like, introduce me to Blue so I can invite him to the server or something. He's been on these streams enough, he might as well just join the server. Careful what you ask for. Chair has been very noisy lately. Chumster? Insult me. He's doing a pretty good job of that himself. Also, I think another one is Heart Stamper or Heart Stomper. Yeah, I just realized, I was gonna say, that hey, I didn't make a going live post on co-host now that I'm on there, but I actually can't post yet. Why not? Ah, uh, there's a waitlist. Right. For new users. It's to prevent spam. They got a shitload of new users all of a sudden. Oh, wonder what caused that. Yeah, I guess we'll never know. why I thought that would work. I gotta stop instinctively trying to go into ink when I'm standing on a grating to avoid someone, because it, it don't work. Ow. 
Uh, if one of us can break past them, uh, insult me yeah, has yeah. the ink fact. Of course he does. Oh no, whatever will we do? I'm stuck. I'm stuck in enemy ink for a bit. It was blocking me. It felt like I was walking into something invisible. I don't know what their game plan was, but I'm sure it didn't work. Ow! How did did that? I don't think we're winning. Yeah, we're not winning this one. You know, I played a game before you uh, came online, and I won that, so, you know, I think I'm content with that. <laughs> I mean, I really just wanted to get the first one of the day before the reset, so, you know. Makes sense. At some point, I really would like to just analyze a lot of the streamers I follow and try to determine if you actually get, can be more successful as a streamer if you're bad at video games. I mean, I suppose that it all depends on other factors. Probably. But I mean, it's like, it's like the movie, have you guys, well, I know Zeno has, but Bell, have you heard of the movie The Producers? I haven't seen it, so whether I've heard about it or not is not coming to mind. It was a Mel Brooks movie that became a musical and then got remade again by Mel Brooks. Uh, the movie is about two theater producers where one of them thinks that putting out a flop on Broadway <laughs> will make more money than a hit. So they try to find the worst play ever written, the worst director in existence, and the worst actors to try to make the worst play in existence. So you get low, Dennis. Oh, okay. there's... Wait. Hey. I guess he is joining? Alright. Yeah, I'm late. Alright. Uh... Well, let's see what happened on the street. Oh, oh. Well, okay, well, I error. guess Dennis can join now. Oh. Yeah, Blue kind of took up the fourth slot. Oh, well, poor guy. Also, I won't say what it is on stream, uh, but uh, Dennis, if you ever feel like you can't join, you know, I won't be mad if you can't. So, just, just wanted to put that out there. Oh, no. Oh, I don't know. I don't want to hang out. All right. Well, okay. Now that Dennis is actually here, I, I will also need use... to level up my darn thing. So my, my uh, catalog. Yeah. Well, the password is sixty nine sixty nine. Of course. Hey, listen. It's easy to remember. It's funny. And you it's have to be the right funny. kind of idiot to guess it. Ruby's uh, Ruby's open. The emerald and the sapphires are also open. Nice. Oh crap. Wait. I'm done. Hold on. Give me like two seconds. Thumbs up. <laughs> I didn't <laughs> want to say it. Okay. I kind of I kind of forgot about the whole I need to join a Splatfest team, because I don't know if it's gonna give me the bonus stuff if I don't. The uh, conch shells. Yeah. I, I've been too afraid to ask. Is it conch or conch? Conch. Okay. I actually don't know because I've heard it pronounced conch. both ways by people that swear it's pronounced both ways. Yeah, I've never I'm... heard it pronounced any way other than conch. Okay. I mean, I'm gonna take SpongeBob as the authority on this one. I'll hail the magic conch. So. I, I mean, did considering the crate. I mean, the creator was a marine biologist, so... Wait, Actually, really? I forgot about that. 
I believe so. Something oh yeah, like that's that. true. But like early that's SpongeBob true. is like. Oh, so we were Team Fire, right? Yeah, we're all Team Fire. Yeah. We're going to be Team Fire. Yeah, we originally agreed on Team Fire because most of us were leaning towards Huey Coco because we all, cur like, assumed that the Splatfest was about Scarlet and Violet. We didn't find out until it was actually in the game that, no, it's about the starter type in general. Because if it was all about the promotional the starter material, type, though, like, all of the promotional material has the Scarlet and Violet starters in it, so... Yeah, but I, I mean, actual I, I icons guess it's... in game show literally every single starter. Yep, but we didn't know that until the day of. True. Yeah, because had it actually been, or had I known it was about the type in general, not specifically Scarlet and Water, Scarlet and Violet starters, I would have gone with Water because more often than not, I picked the Water starter. Uh, Blaziken and Delphox were. And uh, Cinderace were actually the only exceptions to that. In every other game, I picked the water starter. I don't know what possessed me to pick Snivy in my first time in Gen 5. The Snivy's good. Well, I mean, it sucks, but it's got a cool design. Snivy is horrible. Well, all three I mean, starters in Gen 5 suck, yeah. actually. That's like the worst uh, part I'm, about Gen I'm 5. I disagree on that one. Samurai is actually really good. Which one? I mean, I like all three, to be honest. I mean, uh, Samurai. I'm actually not really a fan of Samurott and its line, but whatever. Uh, Hisuian Samurott is better than regular Samurott, but that actually is a case, right? I actually probably should have gone with uh, Hisuian Typhlosion, because it's Ghost Fire, and I love Ghost Types. You'd think I'd be all about Dragon Types, but my favorite Pokemon type is actually Ghost Type. <laughs> I feel like Samurott is a disappointment for being on all fours when it should have been a very cool bipedal, like, Samurai. I hope Sprigatito's final evolution is literally just an anthro cat girl, so that way Pokemon fans will shit themselves. I am not joking. Oh, this guy's I not will have no part in this conversation because I've been keeping up on leaks and rumors, so I know more about Pokemon than y'all do. <laughs> so I will not say a damn thing. Thankfully, I've avoided all that because I don't really like that information. But I, then again, I'm probably not Pokemon as much probably because there's like several, several other games that I'm playing. My then again. The original reason for considering getting it at launch was because I hadn't decided if I was going to stream it or not. I am no longer going to stream it when I get it, so I have no obligation to try to get it for me. We are getting destroyed. Jesus. This isn't really going too well. I think this is the first time I've used the end zap, so that's also awesome use that. The end zap that is, is not where I want to go. Really good. Yeah, what I, you gotta do is aim and shoot. If you can do that, you can use the end zap. Oh, well, there's the problem there. <laughs> yeah, I'm also still using the arrow spray, which I'm not very good with. I'm trying to get the four stars so I can get the. Uh, what's it? Mm -hmm. Badge icon. I like the arrow spray. I'm just not very good with it because I have to get awfully close to the uh, enemy team to actually hurt them. And what's the problem with that? Suddenly got agoraphobia. No, I'm stupid and I die a lot. <laughs> All you gotta do is run up towards them and shoot them. I mean, that's like zero brain cell move right there. Come on. I know, and I pay for it every fucking time. Well, then get an extra brain cell. What? And just, like, get an education or something? Who does that? Fair. It sense in my head.
Every single game I get number one home base sinker. You use the arrow spray. It's like the best at inking. That's true. It has amazing coverage. It has dog shit range. Kind of. Oh no, it's range is fucking atrocious. It's pollution time. My favorite part of uh, Splatoon 3 story was when Maurice said it's Calamarian time. Wow, that silence was oh. deafening. And communication error. Yeah, uh, Nintendo didn't like my pun. That was... I don't know if it was really a pun. I, I'm, I'm tired. Is this my excuse? Oh! Okay. okay. Got a bit of a crunchy frame rate for a moment there. Uh, yeah, same. Well... This would never happen on the Sony PlayStation 5. Yeah, because... Nobody has one. Okay, then. <laughs> <laughs> All these... <though. laughs> By the way, I, I just want to tell everyone watching why I am tired. I got woken up at, uh... 5.09 a.m. Because shit was landing on my air conditioner, which is still in. Because we haven't really had an opportunity to take it out, and I keep forgetting to tell people about it. But it was most likely just rain or something laying on the air conditioner, but it woke me up, and because I had literally just woken up, I didn't know what was going on, so I was kind of spooked. I did eventually go back to sleep, but when I woke up the first time, I awoke from a dream where I was playing some version of Animal Crossing where they had a second island that was in a perpetual snowstorm, and you could visit houses and bunkers to investigate remnants of a human civilization. And it had some rather creepy, melancholy music playing. The thing is, now that I'm wide awake, it actually sounds like a fucking awesome idea for a game, and I kinda wish it was real. Post-apocalyptic Animal Crossing. You mean it's not? Hey, I genuinely can't think of a game that has combined those two. Uh, Animal Crossing. We actually don't know the first one. Uh, was he according to game theory? No, they, I, they haven't unfortunately made a video on. I think you mean fortunately. Oh, that, well, oh wow, that actually worked. That that idea sounds like something game theory would come up up with, and it'd be like. Dennis, I took that splat for you. Yes, you did. Oh, they have two like, fucking bubbles. I mean, Game Theory is the oh. place that says that Rosalina is alternate reality, like Peach, who's dead, or something. So. Alternate reality Peach's daughter. Yeah, yeah it doesn't dead. even make sense. They don't even. Yep. I think part of the theory was reliant on their hair color, but they don't even have the same hair color. Rosalina is a platinum blonde. Peach isn't. She's just blonde. I mean, we also know the true identity of Sans Undertale, oh, thanks God. to Game Theory. You know, Mapcat sucks for a lot of reasons, but I think the funniest thing about him was when the developers of Hello Neighbor were desperately trying to get his attention on Twitter. <laughs> oh god. It was so sad. Wow, they are definitely in a Discord call. When you create when Wait, you create totally. When you create a game solely made for uh, Twitch TV streamers. YouTube. Maybe he does that on Twitch, I don't know. But, yeah. Well, I guess both. I guess YouTube. Also, what is it with YouTubers inadvertently making you can stop indie the horror games right there. 
<laughs> hold on, hold on. I'm getting to something. What is it with YouTubers in inadvertently making certain indie horror games really popular that do not deserve that popularity? Market right. do deserve it. I mean, like, Bendy and the Ink Machine isn't even, like... You got a roller behind this bike, by the way. I know. Yeah. I can form an opinion, opinion on that one, since I know little about it, but that game very well could be fine. Uh, and the I one streamer I watched quest. play it, he did it because the game was entirely fetch quests. Oh, you... Why, what's with those games having, like, a cool premise, but then the gameplay is just awful? And then there's Poppy Playtime, which pages. for the first chapter barely has any gameplay. And then the guy used it to hawk NFTs. Well, nice. actually, when you say find 12 pages, uh, that does very much. I mean, I know it got uh, like haha slender, but like the original is like fine because it's a small scale, like short project. And then you come into the the like weird reimagining sequel thing they did which was not very good because they tried to expand on it in funky ways which again what's with games with cool premises just completely make the gameplay when they try to expand on it like i i just want to point out i'm not shitting on indie horror games because like i, I love indie games it's just that the ones that get really popular because of YouTubers and Let's Players and whatnot, they're not always really any good, but they make for good content, not necessarily good games. And like an example of that is Five Nights at Freddy's, which can literally be explained as hide from the jump scare. Which granted was different for its time, but it, it's not actually good horror. I mean, I kind of like the idea of those games. Oh, can, hello, communication error again. I think... Yeah, like, I mean... I wouldn't call them bad, it's just that... They're not as oh. effective. I guess. That's what I'm trying to say. I like the idea of those games, and then the creator turns out to be how he is. I'm like, nope, there goes oh, my interest. What? You don't like Hatsune Miku, who blessed us with Five Nights at Freddy's, Harry Potter, the RuneScape soundtrack, and uh, Minecraft? No, I can't stand the, the, the only The only <laughs> one, that, work, the only one that, that works for is Minecraft, because the person involved is no longer actually involved with the prop thing in any way. Uh, Scott Carlton Versus... actually left... Five he still profits and makes them good old royalty money. Royalty sales. Yeah, that is fair. Not sure that does not earn royalty yeah. sales, but okay. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> like, he, well, all the, it's like all the merch sales, all the game sales, all those book deals. The yeah, movie, we're in the lobby, he Dennis, make, He's by making the way. money for all. Uh, guess who doesn't make money off of Minecraft? Not sure. oh. Well, I mean, didn't he literally leave the company? He left the company and sold it, literally all rights to Minecraft. He just, he, he basically just was bought, got bought out entirely. No long, long-term deals of making any revenue um, afterwards. He doesn't get anything from what Microsoft does with it. He was done. He got his, like, billion dollars and that was it. Oh, well, good runs. Clearly, his next move it is to buy Twitter. Well, that would be yet another sad has-been trying to own something just so they can stop people from making fun of them. Okay, I thought we had Morbius, but it's just Morbius. Now the question Although is... we have Dr. Ants. That is true, but with Morbius, are they a Sonic fan or are they a Marvel fan? Maybe a New Vegas fan. I haven't considered that. Well, they do have power armor. Actually, from one of the amiibos we don't have. Shit, I forgot to grab the pearl amiibo before I came down here. Uh, Zeno recently ordered the pearl marina amiibos for us, and uh, I took the pearl amiibo for something I don't feel like explaining. Oh, well, it's the racism, isn't it? No, no, <laughs> no, don't fucking do that, bro. <laughs> 
Oh no, it is. I mean, I suppose there's no reason I can't explain it. Uh, I wasn't sure if I would be able to get the Pearl and Marina Amiibos, and since I already got two of the Splatoon 2 Amiibos, and I pre-ordered the Splatoon 3 Amiibos, I told Zeno that he can have Marina on two conditions. One of them is that I get two of the Splatoon 3 Amiibos, and he can pick one of them as long as I get Small Fry, and if a Deep Cut 3-pack comes out, then I get Big Man since I haven't actually gotten to get any of the idols I actually like. Because Zeno got Marie and Marina. Okay, these guys are definitely in a Discord call. I like how we keep joking about that, even though we already are. I nearly just flew right off. Yeah, can you play Splatoon in a Discord call? Yeah, who, do, who does that? A bunch of losers, that's who. Well, considering we've lost every game tonight. I actually think I might be to blame for that because of the, uh... I, I think I'm a higher level than all three of you guys. Skill-based matchmaking! Uh, one of the streamers I watched, Whiskey Dingo, said that, uh... Video games were forever ruined by the inclusion of skill-based matchmaking. I cannot disagree with that. Have you considered getting big? No. You're gonna have to try and you know I never wanna do that. You know what game doesn't have skill-based matchmaking? Team Fortress 2. Let's all play Team Fortress 2. It does have no. bots. And it's also hey, Team what? Fortress 2. Yeah, Team Fortress 2 is great. No. You want to bust out the Xbox 360 play on console? No. I actually forgot that was on Xbox. It's great. I forgot that one too, actually. It's still vanilla because there hasn't been a single update added to the console releases. That's because on Xbox 360, developers had to pay to update their games. Yep. That's also why the Left 4 Dead uh, 1 and 2 DLCs cost money on the Xbox Marketplace, rather than being free updates. Well, Microsoft really has their shit together. I love those guys. Well, I mean, Xbox 360, the reason why it had the indie section was because that was some kind of program that they started to get people to make games for the 360. The games that we would consider indie, stuff like Bastion and Penny Arcade and uh, Limbo and whatnot, had to have a publisher to get released on Xbox 360. You couldn't self-publish. And in a lot of cases, when one of those companies actually found a publisher, the publisher insisted on publishing the game everywhere else, which is not what the developer wanted. So, quite a few indie games that could have come out on Xbox 360 didn't because they could just release it on PS3 without any of that problems. And that is actually one area where Sony had the advantage. Because Nintendo had their they own didn't problems. They did have the advantage of having better hardware. They did not have the advantage of better hardware, no, but they did have the advantage of uh, making it easier for indie games to self-publish. And Nintendo actually had the worst restriction. You didn't need a publisher, but you needed an office. Because there had to be a physical building that could be called. What? Yeah, you didn't know that for WiiWare. They don't have that restriction anymore. Like, call my house, bro. But yeah, for WiiWare, you had to have an office. Have you know a phone? Don't you guys, don't you guys, have, guys... <laughs> don't you guys have office buildings? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking peasants! How dare you speak to me? Well, this is not exactly where I wanted to end up, but it's fine. God, are we just getting in with the MLG idiots today? Yeah. It's my fault because I've been playing Call of Duty. It's because yes, it's playing Bowl, not me. Because I've been fucking quick scumming bitches. It's because this is a dead game, so the only people who play it are. Why are these people taking so long to die? What the fuck? You're not hitting your shots. No, I'm not, because I have the arrow spray. Have you tried using.
Yes? No, never mind. Oh my god. Oh my god. Voice this game had voice chat, then I could scream at these little kids on the other team and make them cry. <laughs> and while they're crying, they won't be able to aim as effectively because their vision will be obscured by tears. Well, I got failure. Me too. Me too, buddy. No, one of the uh, enemies is literally named Phil. I know. Alright, uh, you, you good? No. I'm on the verge of tears. You mean like the little kids you want to yell at? Yes. Looks like Dennis got hit with failure. Story mm. of my life. Alright, see ya. Failure got me too. <laughs> I'm drinking my gas. GG. Oh, God. Just don't worry, guys. If we play for long enough, we'll eventually get matched with children. <laughs> I was about to say we have a shot right now, but. If we just tank our fucking. Placing them, yeah, <laughs> we'll get matched with the children. I think Alpha Red had a video on uh, low GSP and Smash, which is like Smash Ultimate's rankings. And that's when you get matched with a bunch of people who just have weird item sets turned on. Or will attack and then not follow up at all. And Ness mains. I'm a nest man. I know, it's unfortunate. Yes. I'm only teasing. Well, you know what? Ness needs your help to defeat Giggy Gas. And all he needs is the is your credit card number, expiration date, and the four digits on the or the three digits on the back. I think I know exactly who made that video, and if it is who I'm thinking of, it's the same guy who made another video that was like, Hey guys, gotta jump. Jump on ya boy's fat dick. Ha, got him. The voiceover guy. I don't know his name. It's one, it's, he's one of them dudes who you just pay him to say, like, he's me or No, Frozy D is Sungwon Cho. He's a voice actor. Oh well, yeah, he said the voiceover guy. I don't know. Who the fuck uh, he Dennis is talking about the people on YouTube who, if you pay them money, they will read anything you tell them to, with a green screen background or something on their computer. It's like, it's like Tyrone, but uh, that's not the specific person who made the video Dennis is talking about. Oh, I'm so glad you've narrowed it down. I'm sure, we'll be able to identify whoever this person is. <laughs> Listen, I don't know his name either. I've just seen his stuff. At least it's more specific like, oh, than the voiceover I, guy. I, 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 I don't know his name either. Just, I also once saw him for one of those, like, health, like people, like, health insurance commercials where it's like, if you're 65 and over, I'm like, oh, like, this is, like, the Ow. guy. And I just I'm ate like, oh, a I fucking he would just try to do though. legit commercials. Poper? How did it taste? How did it taste? Oh, well, okay. We just... <laughs> That's fine. Uh, it tasted like grapes, and I don't like that. No, sorry. It tasted like grape juice. I like grapes. I don't like grape juice. What kind of monster are you? You on a wall. <laughs> what was that? What kind of monster are you? I don't like grape flavored things. It's Do gross. Grape people, some kind of monster. I am convinced that nobody actually likes grape flavor things and we're all just too polite to call it shit. I literally like grape flavor it, it doesn't even taste like grape to me. And most well, it doesn't taste like grape X to anyone, are you kidding me? Most X flavored things don't actually taste like the thing that they're supposed to taste like. 
That's true. Dennis, don't don't jump. I know it was too late. It was too late. <laughs> oh god, their entire team. Well, I mean, we I know Dennis is a himbo. He's stuff. a big stupid cat. Banana flavored that stuff way. is flavored after banana that is extinct. Or, and not extinct, but very hard to find because it nearly went extinct by the late conditions. So that's why banana flavored stuff doesn't really taste like the bananas you get the same. Or something like that. That could also be a good legend because, you know, we go on the internet and tell lies, but yeah. I believe it. You lie to me all the time. <laughs> Does he lie like Todd Howard? Yes. Todd Howard has never lied in his entire fucking life. It just <laughs> yes, works. He, yes, he has. They're just, they're just they're sweet little lies. One of the last times I was streaming Bayonetta 3, when I was getting annoyed that uh, there was stuff I could jump off of, couldn't climb on top of, Dennis just said in chat, You see that mountain? You can't go there. <laughs> well, yeah, that's basically what it was. <laughs> it's literally what was happening. They let me jump up stuff when I'm on top of them. That's a thing we, that games like to call boundaries. And Did we win? Also, we may have won. Yeah. yeah. By they like missed stuff in two... their spawn in the right side. That's if they had actually they covered go. their base, we would have lost. Yeah. Someone isn't wearing the spot fest tee. Dennis. Yeah, it's me. Because I'd like to level up the stuff that isn't the spot fest tee right now. I like to level up the spot fest tee because it only costs two thousand cash to scrub them. So it is essentially free slots. Oh uh, yeah, but then I'm leveling up not like I'm leveling stuff on up unevenly, and I don't want to level it up. Well, what I normally what I normally do when I'm not streaming Splatoon 3 is if I know I'm going to be playing for a bit, I'll level up the Splat Fest and then swap to other gear to uh, level it up. I mean. That way it does stay even. Mommy Shark, Clown uh, Core, shark and Weeb Core. Core. Okay. Why do we have Weeb Core and cl Are they friends? I think they might be friends. Are we friends? Are you? Good question. <laughs> I like how you didn't answer the question. <laughs> I said, who are you? That was my answer. I didn't hear you. Oh. <laughs> you just fucking with me. Oh, I'm oh, hitting I, I didn't hear you. I'm hitting the wrong button to activate my special, because in my mindset, I'm still playing Bayonetta 3. You good? <laughs> No. Oh, we were definitely winning this. That's our famous last problem. word. You just fucking chase us, goddammit. Okay, we're losing it. But we're actually winning it. We're also losing it. Now we're winning Jinx it. Is only we're gonna get a draw, really and we're losing and it. There we go. I think I've undone it. the Jinx. That's how it works, right? Well, get good, got, well we also got wiped out, so... These guys really have tunnel vision. Yeah, destroyed Skyla again from fucking ricocheting bubbles. Bubbles! Bubbles! I think this game needs a first person mode. Oh, that would be nauseating if you have motion controls on. Good, fuck those people. I'm not talking about the other people, I'm talking about me. How did I kill Weep Core? We're in the mode, Which it didn't. What? What did you say? Resident Village needed a third person mode apparently when it totally didn't. I don't know why they got made a third person mode for that. What? I mean, more I appreciate it because I actually would have preferred it in third person. The problem is you still can't see Ethan's face. No. 
Oh no, I can't see this very fucking generic white guy. Dude. Can't see just fucking John McCracker over here. <laughs> John McCracker. <laughs> <laughs> Don't send me the bill. Jokes aside, I actually do. I, jokes aside, I actually do like Ethan as a protagonist, but it is funny that like most of his characters, <laughs> it is him just being Ethan. That's actually probably why I kind of like him. Like, just like he's, he's just a guy. Dennis likes John the Crackers. Yeah. I'm... Uh, I can't not think of this one video whenever people bring up Ethan Winters because some guy did a parody of the four kids one piece rap intro but made it about oh, Chris fuck Redfield trying to get Ethan to fuck Claire. It's playing on that, mean, that meme that Chris is trying married. to get people to fuck Claire because uh, he wants to pass on the Redfield bloodline. Um, and he can't do that because... Well, well that's the joke, so. is that he's trying to get people to fuck, fuck Claire instead of fucking someone himself. Because Claire is the last fertile member of their bloodline. Sad. Can I get an F in the chat? You know, yesterday was, uh, Advanced Warfare's whatever. <laughs> so, it was Advanced Warfare or something or other. Yeah, who cares? Fucking Kevin Spacey was in that game. Who gives a shit? Oh, is that, is that the one that we're uh, press F to pay respects is from? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like that is, I think, one of my favorite memes to just like analyze because it is a meme that I don't actually think enough people actually know what Call of Duty game it's even from. And that was a communication error. But like, it well, is moved so far away from its original context that it's just a natural thing someone on the internet says. Uh, this is you know, actually one good, because I need to cash in, so. One day that's going to be Call of Duty's only legacy. Can't come soon enough. Only legacy. I mean, there's a few other things that are very much Call of Duty's legacy. I mean, yeah, but yeah, I'm like saying one day. Apologists. Okay, but counterpoint, war crimes are fucking sick. I mean, it's not like anyone's ever gonna forget a very specific mission in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. That will pretty much forever be a part of its legacy and history. What mission? What no mission in Modern Warfare 2? Nobody's gonna miss. Fuck. Reagan! Ronald Reagan! No. I don't know really, anything really about the, the Call of Duty game, so if there's a controversy in Modern Warfare 2, I literally have no idea what it is. All the games are the same to, to me. You get to shoot up an airport in one of the games. Oh, the no Russians. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I didn't know it's that was also, Modern like, Warfare It's also, like, skippable. Like, they put, like, a bunch of content warnings, and they're like, if you don't want to play this, you do not have to. Cowards. Should have made you pull the fucking trigger. It is the American way. I got a lobby open in a moment. It is open. It's okay, and now, now you can play the the newest uh, title where you get to go after some people that for some reason were able to smuggle in deadly weapons of mass destruction in the port of Chicago. In Chicago. I, that's a question that I also had when I heard that Wait, that where was the part fuck of the would they be smuggling them in from at a port that, in That's what Dennis said when I told him. That's we what are, Dennis said when we I told border him. Lake Michigan. There's nothing out there. The only thing's out there is fucking Wisconsin and Canada. Canada. The, the we made the same show. Was the extra kicker is that the intended target is Washington, D.C. It's not even connected. <laughs> Or are they just gonna fucking slide them down the Mississippi River? I mean, considering the fact that the party responsible is the Mexican cartel. Uh, what are the Mexican yeah, cartel they... doing in Chicago? <laughs> well, they're not. 
They gave it to some Middle Eastern people because of course they did. And what they are they doing in Chicago? <laughs> Launching a missile, duh. It's from oh, where? Look at their fucking cars jacked before they're able to launch anything. Literally, the missile will just be taken right off the truck. It actually would, yeah. <laughs> and if that doesn't happen, their tires are, their tires will get slashed, and the fucking copper wire in the car will be stolen, or whatever it's called. A uh, catalytic converter will get that, stolen. That was it. It, it was a, a C. I don't on. know what C. Like, they wouldn't even be able to get the truck that far. Why would you go to Chicago of all places? <laughs> Fucking smuggle in a weapon. I guess they wanted a set piece in Chicago and just didn't really think about it. I was literally just like, inside of a building, so... At least New York would have made sense. Yeah, but they already did New York. That would be something different. I feel like that made under logic, to be honest. <laughs> Ow. Oh my god, Bluetooth just fucking randomly died on my computer. Oh. Fuck. I thought there was a person named Bluetooth for a moment until you said computer. He's emulating. Uh, you cannot play online with user. By what you need to play. But you can't actually play online with the games. So Splatoon would only be playable in a single player. Well, have you tried it? Are you emulating Nintendo games? No, they literally pulled the online because they got concerned that everyone would just get instantly banned once Nintendo noticed a bunch of the same IDs were online at the same time. I cannot believe you're emulating Splatoon 3 at this very second. Wow, the entire enemy team was just trying to get me out of their base. How did that work out? Well, I distracted them did for a while. Get, we, were you guys were able to cover the rest of the map. Ow. Time to choke and throw the whole damn game. The Splatoon way. Mine there. Oh, one of the guys was panic dropping mines. We have been we doing that to beat up our... those twelve-year-olds we wanted. Also, Wait, Sorrow, can you say something is... in chat, please, or is my Twitch chat broken? The mine is that a sub or a special? I forget. The mine that is the mines a sub. Are a... Sub. Okay. I'm gonna say if it was a special, we'd probably panic doing it just to get the anchor refill. Yeah, Sorrow, if you're paying attention, can you say something in chat for me? I'm actually also noticing that. I don't, I'll, I'll type something too. Okay, oh, I can see you guys. Never mind. All right. I guess Sorrow's quiet tonight. But uh, Sorrow is normally like the most talkative person in my stream, so I was just concerned that my uh, Twitch chat died or something. So I guess she's just not looking. Which is fine. It's just. You know, when people aren't talking, I get concerned that a uh, chat broke or something. I don't need people. That went woke. Oh, wait a minute. I still have the bayonetta background on. Wow. Whoops. You only just noticed? Why didn't you say something? I wasn't paying attention. Pin plane? Alright, that guy based. needs to get banned. No, I think he's too cool to get banned. Also, I didn't say anything because I thought it'd be funny if I didn't say anything. You were wrong. You know what? Fair. Oh, 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 oh. Because that is exactly something that I would do. I will literally base my entire moral compass on whether something is funny to me. Oh my god! Wait! Ah! Sure, bye, guys. 
Yeah, they fucking crushed. Jesus. Like that yeah, they didn't ink like 80% of their base. Was that? I said, that is a stunning indictment of your sense of humor. I have a twisted sense of humor. That's what they all say. Your face is what they all say. We have barely covered any of the map and they are in danger because they didn't cover their base. You know, we don't even need to like push too hard, I think, because if they just don't cover their base... Oh, wait, uh, they'll don't... cover it eventually. Like, yeah. as they die, they're gonna be covering it. Yeah, so we do have to... Get the, to get their, to get their specters back up. They're doing the strategy of leave it empty. Yeah. Well, they're doing the strategy of leave it empty to get speckles up. <laughs> um, so on kind of thing. Like, no. I'd rather just... I got in their we base, and it didn't last very long. Play the game. Strategy. I need strategy. My like strategy is nuts. You tried. I did. I tried so hard and I just fucking ate another insect. I saw that as I spawned in. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here with your fucking umbrella, Jesus. Umbrella, eh, eh. You act like I remember the song beyond that. I know one word. Pussy. Pussy too. It's two words. I solved this problem with my four hyper intelligent brains. I'm hungry. I'm cold. I'm itchy. Pussy. <laughs> Uh, they yeah, were just yeah. focusing on me because awesome. they couldn't kill me. Because the, uh, fucking bow user was not able to hit me. Hit me! Oh, the bow. Okay. Uh, when in doubt, it's usually the bow or the charger. So many holes in there, they probably would have won. If they would have. If they ate their fucking spawn, they would have won. I love more of them like that, because it's like, hey, buddy, the ink that spawn. Also, I gotta bug out for a moment. Okay. If you guys want to like do another round or something, go ahead. Alright. I'm gonna use the Clash Blaster. I need to check where I'm at with the Aerosphere. I'm at the point where I'm just gonna start uh, getting the first star out of the way with weapons to get the fucking uh, Sheldon ticket. Because if I just stock up on those tickets, whenever they start actually updating the game, I can just get new weapons right away. <clears throat> I'm sorry, is that, is that guy's name Dinkledorf? It is. Yeah. Oh, he's got the mascot shot. Well, that just locked that... a fucking memory. What the hell? Dude, those are not the lyrics. Huh? And wow, those are not the lyrics. They aren't? I mean, I'm You'll hoping a song from anymore. a show called Recess. That's the song that they sang in that. You will never know the truth. Are you gaslighting me? Nah, the truth is out there. Yes. Yes, I'm I truth, am. I'm truth social. With such fascinating truths such as Elon Musk announcing that he drinks his own urine. I love that, like, so many do trackmark people are, like, revolting, changing their name to Elon Musk and just messing with him. <laughs> and it's like, 
Buddy, that's gonna happen until you sell this site. They're, they're all getting banned to uh, their accounts restricted. Because it's such well, a piss baby, he can't take a joke even though comedy is no longer illegal. Elon Musk is literally a piss baby. Yeah. Well, you should treat others the way you would like to be treated. Yeah, fuck that. Ask. How did that not kill? How did what not kill? Someone was in range of the goddamn reef slider when I hit ZR to detonate it, and it still didn't kill him. And their name is Cheats. Hmm, blunder. There's this thing, bro. All the cool games have it. By the way, the uh, last group that we were with, well, we won. Do you think they were molding at the end? No, I don't think they take these video games seriously because at the end of the day, you know, they're just a distraction from the horrors of real life. Well, that got morbid, kind of. You, you're right, though, I guess, but... I don't know. Hello! I find it very appropriate that Dinkledorf is using the goddamn cartoon fish head. Fucking cuckhead looking ass. Or like cuckhead. Like cuckhead and bugman or something like that. Cockhead. Oh, was it enough? I don't think so. No, oh, was it enough? Not. Nope. That's sad. I don't think I like the class blaster very much. I don't really like any of the blasters. Me neither. Oh, uh, something kind of funny, kind of annoying happened earlier. My parents went out to get a carry out because we all wanted to carry out from this one local place that we all like. My parents pulled up to the strip mall the place was at, and the power went out. We ended up going somewhere else. Yeah, I had the on and off power issues earlier too. The lights in the game room flickered earlier, but we never lost power. Uh, for those who don't know, it is fucking windy in Chicago right now. It is literally fucking windy. I mean, you know. No, that's not why it's called the Windy City. <laughs> I think we've talked about saying, this before. It's an appropriate name. It is, but it's actually about the politicians. About the politicians. <laughs> oh, wait, they're the ones responsible for making all the wind? Yeah, windbags. You ever heard the term before? You've played Ace Attorney! I think it's the fucking Jewish weather machine. Oh my god. See, I literally cannot use that to make fun of conservatives because of Marjorie Taylor Greene. She said it unironically. Like, how do I top that? How do I make fun of these people? You don't, you let them yeah, make it's fun actually, of it's, themselves. It's actually, it's actually really easy. Well, it's I mean, I can't fun. say insane shit like that, because if I do, people will think I'm serious. Because that's how insane they are. I can't make fun of them. Comedy uh, is the dead, when satire and satire is dead, and we sit on its corpse like a throne. Also, I go down there. Both bandits nighttime cover on. And that dumbass bird oh, no. grabs the cover and just starts pulling it into his cage to chew on it. I had to give him a toilet paper roll <laughs> to play with to get him to stop chewing Ow. on the cover. So now he's just sitting down there 
happily chewing away on a toilet paper roll. Just having the time of his life while trying to stand on it. Because of the bird's atomic. How did we get a wipeout? What the fuck? Teamwork, baby. Teamwork makes the game work. Well, I got him. What is an Odin bowl? Maybe try and say Udon bowl and like. No, O D E N. It it's something else. You're doing it. Yes, I am. Doing it. Oh my God, it's actually a thing. Well, what is it? Uh, you have a picture of posting uh, He's not even in the match! Wasting time in game, just fucking ruining everything for us. Yeah. Please. It's a one pot dish that has boiled oh. eggs, daikon, fish cakes. Stewed in a soy flavored dashi. Uh, post a picture in the game night channel. I want to see that. Yeah. Oh, I want to put it up on stream because that's a little more effort than I want to put it into it. But... Wow. Well, I'd have to download the image in order to add it as a source, or I'd have to add Discord as a source and then crop it. Wow. God, now I'm fucking hungry. I've actually, like, barely eaten today, so... I'm there. Posted a picture. Oh, that looks amazing. So what'd you say is in there? Uh, egg, daikon? Usually boiled eggs, daikon, uh, fish cakes, stuff like that. Oh, that sounds amazing. I forget the actual Japanese term for fish cakes. We need to go back to Mitsuha so I can get some fucking old gear in our Kudon bowl. And I need to come with because I want to have a look at the uh, section where the Kudon bowls are at and see if I want to try something else. Because I think they have bento boxes there? Uh, yeah, they usually have bento. Yeah, I have never had a proper bento box. The only one I've had is from a Japanese express restaurant, and it wasn't particularly amazing. It wasn't bad. Dennis might remember it. Yep. I don't know if I'm also... Don in Gyudon basically just means rice bowl. So Gyudon is beef rice bowl. Yes, I thank you. It's very good. You say you haven't had a bento box before, but what would you call Lunchables? They're Trash. literally bento boxes. I do not like Lunchables. Also, nothing beats a homemade bento box, because I've had, like, proper homemade bento boxes before. Oh my god. They're so good. Especially when they have yaki on the They have what? Yaki onigiri. Oh, what is that? I know half of those words. Uh, yaki means fried. So it's a oh, onigiri, a rice nice. ball, that's uh, been fried on a griddle with soy sauce. So it has uh, a crust on the outside, and then the rice on the inside is still soft. God, I love Japanese food. Are you telling me a rice fried this ball? <laughs> God, I like never it, get to have It's less again. of fried rice and more of like a rice ball that's been fried. Yeah. After Thanksgiving, 
Yakuza franchise for teaching me assorted Japanese food related terms that I now are very much aware of thanks to those games. Uh, I was spoon fed Japanese food because of the Katamari games. That is how I found out about Omu Rice and Okinomiyaki, I think it's called. Okinomiyaki is so good. I want to have some. I've never had oh. it. Butchered that. I can't <laughs> remember how to spell it. it. It's a, Fuck it's you. A, it's Okonomiyaki. Okonomiyaki? Yes. Okay. An Osaka classic. Uh, I actually have a recipe for that. Do you want me to send it to you? I got it from one of my friends. Who was kind enough to share it with me? Give me the savory pancake things. Yeah, I will uh, see if I can find a recipe. I actually kind of want that recipe. That would be a challenge. Oh, I got some more. Yeah, uh, a friend, she's as much a foodie as you and I are, Dennis. So that's actually kind of how we became friends. She's another streamer. And uh, we hit it off because she visits Chicago because of Midwest Fur Fest. And fucking loves the food here. So my first interaction with her was just telling her about all the restaurants here. And we, we were just talking about Portillo's for a solid hour. As one should when talking about Portillo's. <laughs> Portillo's is fun. I want the chocolate cake right now. Have you had the chocolate cake? You better have had the chocolate cake. I haven't had the cake, but I've had the chocolate cake shake. Which is literally just cake. their chocolate cake thrown in a milkshake. <laughs> yes. You my actual just straight up chocolate cake. They, they literally take a slice of cake and throw it in a blender. Oh. I've seen them do it. It's fucking hilarious. <laughs> okay, uh, after this match, I need to bug out of the lobby so I can scrub the slots on this thing. Okay. Well, either that, or I can just swap gear and then scrub it later. Really? Did you just uh, swap gear? I'll have to bug out anyway at 9, so we can just basically all just kill the lobby at 9 to go, like, do shit and then come back. Yeah, that works. Oh, someone we don't get a communication error before. Well, yeah. Then. Jake. I do not like Squaw. <laughs> I do not like that name. That sounds I'm like totally a slur. Sure. Oh my god, three snipers. What the fuck? Oh, we are. Uh, three there. snipers and a bow. We are losing. I mean, think about how much, in how much ink coverage are they going to get with those, though? Actually, think about this. They are in a fucking Discord call. <laughs> yeah, like. Uh, think about their ink coverage with those weapons, though. I mean. Oh my I think we got a real good shot here. Oh, these yeah. guys can't aim for shit. Oh, they probably just got done uh, playing Call of Duty after their mom picked them up from school. Hey, that's what I was doing. You got a problem with playing Call of Duty? This dude just tried to hit me with the aim back and fucking missed. Well, I fucking just, just waltzed up to him and then reef slided when he was back to I'm like, you could've just got to know me. Well, my favorite thing to do with, uh, Inkvac users is to just waltz up to them and stare them down. I thought there's a whole part of our spawn that had an ink, and yet they're still somehow in danger. I got it. Fuck <laughs> off. That would be because Fuck I'm off. in their spawn. I just spawned in here, and I never... I yeah, they managed to kill three of us, and Xeno's somehow still alive. These guys can't fucking hit me for shit. <laughs> well, yeah, because <laughs> fucking cog kitties. I'm feeling really oh, attacked right now. Game. Is that Mal? But I'm feeling really attacked right now. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not making fun of you for playing COD. I'm making fun of COD oh, for still like being you're... something that like kids play. You know what? You're a fucking squad. Don't, don't say that. It literally sounds like a slur. But it is. Yeah. Are you sure about that? <laughs> if it is, I don't care. I have my S word pass. <laughs> Do you even know what the pass is for? 
Uh, clearly it's in the name. It's in the name. I didn't think that through. I think it's self-explanatory. Ow. Don't find me. All the way down. Okay. Wow, bros are just not having a good one right now. Oh my look God, behind this you. Is, we are bullying them. There's this is child abuse. No, this is actual fucking abuse. Jesus. You know what? Dude, yeah. this is fucking payback. For all the fucking yeah. times where I've had to suffer at the hand of this motherfucking camping ass sniper. So fuck these people. So guy activated an ink vac while standing in our ink, and I was just swimming in a circle around him, and he was spinning panicking. <laughs> Please tell me you got a clip of it. I don't know if I did. I don't know if I got it on time. <laughs> okay, because I, I got I a clip of me waltzing up to someone with an ink vac and then reef sliding straight into them. Because <laughs> the well, ink vac doesn't did. stop the reef slider. <laughs> Don't forget that this game does have a theater mode. Oh, that's true. You can view replays. Oh, I can watch the replay in graphic play. Yeah, you can also post the code mode? so other people can yeah. see it. Wow, that's a step above the triple A title Halo Infinite. <laughs> I'm sorry, actually the small indie game. <laughs> I actually try, but I just look like I can't be crazy. It's really did they ever add Forge mode to Infinite or It's no? coming. It's coming. Yeah, they had a beta. Or did that beta happen yet? Or is it Yeah, like they had the beta. To... Okay, cool. I'm like, I know it's coming, and they have the winter update coming. I genuinely feel bad for Halo fans, because it really seems like 343 shit the bed with Infinite. Oh, they I think they... Good. I mean, it's a good game, but I, they definitely probably pushed out a little bit too early, because they're... They have like so many plans for the game, and so many things to update, and don't have apparently the time, budget, or manpower to do so. Um, like, I mean, they launched the game, and it launched with a host of issues back when they like launched it like a year ago. And at the time, they were just like, "Oops, we launched the game, and all have our holiday vacations immediately after, so they couldn't." Fix a bunch of glaring issues with the game. Don't fucking point that at me! And what the fuck? Stuff kept breaking, and it really just comes down to honestly, Microsoft ain't given them the time or manpower to really do the work that they need to in the time that it should probably take. So it's been like a long game of like just bear with those guys, please. And sometimes they make good updates and good choices, other times it's like a few steps back. But every so, time it's a fist pump emoji. Every time it's a fist pump. I don't understand that reference. One of the community it's... managers always like in the his tweets with the fist pump emoji. That's my favorite. And Halo fans are just taken to mocking him for it. Whoever oh, killed the fourth member, thank you. I killed the other three with a oh, single yeah. reef slide. I got, I got the last. One. But yeah, I no, Halo, 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 Halo Infinite's like, <laughs> a good game with a good like base to it. Uh, they're just very slow on content updates that makes it feel like subpar in the long term compared to other Halo games because if you want to compare like how much content I had a game had relative to how long it had been out, like all of the other releases before it had had a in terms of how many new maps were updated and game modes and features and stuff that they added yeah, as post-launch the word. And most of them had it Forge by now. Yeah. Well, I mean, all of them except for five had Forge at launch. Four didn't either, actually. It took a couple months for that one. Well, but in a year. Yeah, yeah no, it took, a, it took a bit, but it was not, not a year after it launched. Like, they were just kind they, they were just, that was the first instance of like, oops, it's not ready in time, but at least it just took a couple months for them to push it out, not like a first For sports this time is supposed to be much more in-depth, which, you yeah. know, of course. 
Also, the beta hasn't actually started yet. I guess people just have been using it. I guess they got leaks or something. The actual yeah. beta starts when uh, the new season starts. Uh, so March? I mean, the winter update. Oh, oh okay. And that's... You know, I know I've heard I've heard that poetry is supposed to be more in depth, which is good because that's gonna help it in the long term because that's what kept Halo alive for a lot of people. I never oh, really played much of Halo, honestly. That's why people love Master Chief Collection on PC. Because they have a they have a server browser. Yeah, and they have a server browser, so you can literally just play all the classics games that you used to play back when you did Halo on the 360, and <clears throat> your means of joining people was finding mutuals and matchmaking games, and then sending an Xbox Live mes message like, hey, I want to do some custom games, and you just did that with random people. Or you could send people Xbox Live messages saying that you're just jealous because you'll never be able to do what I can do with my hands in playing the shitty metallic chord. <laughs> <laughs> I understand that's, that right? That's still... That's just like peak Xbox Live message right there. <laughs> I, oh yeah, you're gay. I would forgotten about that. That was... I mean, I've literally had that happen. Like, people have sent messages like that. To me. Sad. Because <laughs> I played a lot of Halo and others played a lot of Call of Duty. This also happened with Team Fortress 2. <laughs> Impulse <laughs> Sim? People are just, people are just oh, had a lot of fun with these Xbox Live messages. And there's Bryce! Oh god, they have Bryce. <laughs> god, you know, I worked with a guy named Bryce. I think I one of my dark. favorite like, Xbox messages that I've ever seen was uh, some kid who was uh, telling the guy that uh, you better not do that again or my dad will, will ban you he owns microsoft and the guy's like wait your dad is bill gates and the kid goes who's bill gates like my balls <laughs> <laughs> i don't really remember ever getting messages on playstation but after i mean Eventually, I just started turning off all of my, you know, chat functions in console games because I didn't care much for it. A guy on Facebook have, messaged me after trying to uh, send me some harassment because he thought I reported his comment. He got his account locked. And I told him I didn't even see the comment. What actually happened was he must have said something rather shitty to me and Facebook automatically flagged it and locked his account. He said you were a poopy head. Oh, he probably said much worse than that. that I was don't think you can... What could be worse than that? Yeah, I mean... A big dumb head poopy head. Oh my okay. god. I didn't, like fair. I didn't think humans were capable of such savagery. Well, the whole reason why the guy even messaged me was because uh, Eurogamer put out an article about how the creator of the FMV game, Her Story, was offered exposure by Tesla to put the game on the Tesla storefront. And some guy was going on about how, oh, Musk is the richest man on the planet. Exposure from him means a lot. Because advertising is a big industry and all that. And he was getting roasted by like 20 people, all calling him an idiot. And he got super Wait, what's defensive. The, what's the crossover between Tesla users and her story exactly? None. Also, the dude like, thought it was an unpopular mobile game. Because he had never heard of it. Uh, it it won a BAFTA, really, I think. That, when that came out, that game literally, like, exploded in terms Why of Why would you squid bag that? That wasn't even worth squid bagging. They're, I mean, they're very much always worth squid bag. I feel like they're probably just doing out of spite, considering how much uh, territory they have inked at this moment. Oh, yeah, you know, it's probably there. more of, uh, you know what, if I can't have the win, I can at least take away some of your dignity, and it's like, well, buddy, I ain't losing any of this If you're playing Splatoon, you probably don't have much to begin with. I need to play her story. I actually own it, by the way. Maybe I'll stream it sometime. 
I might be too dumb for it, though. Nah, it's it's not like that hard. It's just how curious are you and. Oh, speaking oh, of games well, like that, have you heard of a PC game called Windowsill? No. No. Alright, uh, I heard of it quite some time ago when I briefly tried to be a Let's Player. Uh, someone suggested it to me. It's a puzzle game where you have uh, basically these toys in a windowsill and you solve puzzles by interacting with the toys. Uh, apparently, 12 years after its release, it's coming to Switch. So, I don't think you would like it, Bell, but uh, Dennis, you might be interested in it. I don't like anything. Yeah, that's fair. Sure. Mm. Alright. I do wonder mm. if uh, Sorrow is okay, because she has been unusually... Oh, she's not even in chat. Interesting. I hope she's okay. Call her on the telephone. Nobody ever, you know, ignores the telephone call. I actually don't remember what number I have stored as hers, because she had a work phone and a uh, regular phone, and I don't think I actually differentiated them, because I'm a fucking moron. Nice. Like, I'm gonna Nick throw bloop. you off a cliff. <laughs> Nick bloop. Sanana. Mookie. Anthony. Oh my god, is that Marvel actor Anthony Mackie? From the no. hit, yep. uh, Marvel TV show? Uh, I've already forgotten the name of the show, never mind. Falcon and the Winter Soldier? Thank you. That just sucks. Simple name. The face is a simple name. I like simple team. Oh. Hey. What are you saying? <laughs> oh, hey, hey. That fucking hurt. See? Hey, hey. I like that. What I told Dennis earlier in Disco was, hey, hey, eat my entire ass. I really hate oh, that I see Mookie's name got and almost, down there. almost immediately uh, when it does get song Dookie gets stuck in my head. I really don't really appreciate it's that. It's Nookie, actually. It's what? Do you think you think you the, the Green Day album? I was thinking of the Green Day album, yes. Man, it's just one of those days. Yeah, it's all about the he said, she said bullshit. You better quit talking that shit. I'm gonna leave you with a fat lip. It's like the only Limp Bizkit song I actually like. Limp Bizkit is fucking bass. Is he though? <laughs> no. <laughs> I believe he's what's called new metal and you, and I don't actually know what that means, but apparently if you like new metal, like, you like new metal. New metal is generally like metal plus like usually has some like rap influences on it. Generally, I mean, cause like, considering like Limp Bizkit, they definitely have a lot more rap hip hop than your average metal band. Well, Break Stuff is like a genuinely good song. I think Linkin Park, but with more metal. Linkin Park and uh, and Limp Bizkit is, you know, kind of cut from the same cloth. I think Linkin Park definitely has a better track record, though. Meteor is like one of the best albums of all time. Uh, what was that other song? Breaking the Habit by Linkin Park. That's one of my favorite songs. I don't care if people think I'm like an edge lord or something like for liking Linkin Park. I like Linkin Park. I haven't I listened to any of their new stuff. I think you'd be an edge lord for liking Linkin Park. Well, Linkin some Park do. was like super friggin' popular. So, you know, I mean. 
Damn, that was close. You can't really be an edgelord for liking something that mainstream, let's be honest. Alright, well, okay. Consider the fact that I am so out of the loop when it comes to music that I didn't know AWOL Nation's song Sale was a big hit. Because it wasn't the song okay. that introduced me to AWOL Nation. I had never heard of them before I heard their song, uh... God, what was it called? It's not your fault. I mean, that was I, how I got I introduced. That's fair, then. I don't really even know the song. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure I've heard it, but I've never heard anything else by them. I have one of their albums, the one that has Sale on it, and Sale isn't the song that introduced me to them. I am so out of the loop with music that a, a band I listen to could be the most popular band in the world, and I would have no idea. Do you enjoy being a hipster? No. No. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes. Are well, you 100 terror, let's go. Alright, well, I'm gonna use this as an opportunity to check shops and whatnot. Same. Sorry, you've been banned from the shops because you're a hipster. This is the exact well, kind of community down. where a hipster would be wanted. Slow down, Rockstar writing team. Hate my wife. <laughs> Millennials are fucking stupid. <laughs> Aren't we all millennials? No. Technically, I'm not. But uh, that's true. I'm close enough. Well, you can buy You're one of the power worse. egg packs. That's cool. What would be after? I don't know the generation that's after when. It's not Gen Z, right? Is no, it, it is. It is Gen Z. Between, it's Gen Z. It is Gen Z. Yep. Oh, that's even worse. Hey, one of my girlfriends is a Zoomer. I'm Unfortunately. Joking. Not. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> oh no, this is. She's, like, hilarious. It's not Sorrow, it's the other one. Uh, she's hilarious. But, uh, there is a bit of a language barrier. In is terms of... you don't speak English very well, Spike? No, it's because I had to ask her what busting it down sexual style meant. No, you didn't. I you did. You invented that term. I did not. I mean... I absolutely I know did what that not. Is, so does that make you me, invented that, that term me. talking about Barack Obama. No, I did not. Uh, her definition for it was goaded with the sauce, which unfortunately I did understand. Well, was it? Yes. All these are viewers want to know. All this shit is being missed to me. The reason why I'm not saying her name. <clears throat> is because uh, she wanted to keep our relationship a little private, so I'll talk about her, but I won't say her name. Though, you guys probably know who it is. Britney Spears. God damn it, you got me. It's her. Nah, nah, she has two high standards. So. Yeah, that's fair. So, someone's locker over here has, like, almost every weapon on it as a holographic sticker. Uh, that guy's a fucking no-lifer. Yep. Oh, come on. This hey, game has been out, like, her. three months. Two months. It's like 30 weapons in the game. You know, with a little bit of hard work and a whole lot of gumption, you can do it, too. He's got 18 hollow stickers on the front of it. I have no idea how many he's got on the inside. Why don't you count? That's because I can't open it right now. Why? Because he's in matchmaking waiting for Dennis. I mean, Val. You didn't say he... you had opened up the thing yet. He did, I actually. did! <laughs> no, you didn't. I actually did, because Dennis no, and Zeno are here. You didn't say it. I did. You weren't listening. Why would I ever listen to a word you have to say? What? What? That's it. I, I forgot to get my I fed up with this off. world. You know what? Uh, just despite all of you, I am not going to mute my phone this time. Okay. Oh, you can't sit on top of the plant. What the fuck? It pushes you off. What the hell? Pain. So wait, Bell, were you just sitting there the whole time thinking I didn't have to lobby? <laughs> I wasn't really thinking about you at all. 
<laughs> well, that's just hurtful. You Are you it. sure about that? I was gonna say, that better not be another communication error. Ugh. Louis. <laughs> Luigi. It's Luigi. Mario, it's, it's Joshi. I need to work on that impression. I, I, I can't do the Vinny Vine Sauce fucking Luigi impression all that well. I can do regular. Maybe you should do your own thing instead of trying to emulate someone else. It's actually good advice though. Of course it is, you fucking squap. <laughs> that's just that's just gonna be a thing, isn't it? Until I forget, this is probably gonna happen after tonight. <laughs> no, we're gonna we're gonna make we're gonna make this happen. Gonna... I put a sprinkler on the wall higher than anyone can shoot at, and it's pissing them off. <laughs> <laughs> I keep running over to it, trying to hit them. Oh, I see the God, who was it that said that there's something about Splatoon players and sprinklers where they just panic and have to destroy it? I think it was one of us where they just see a sprinkler and they go, Oh, hold on, hold on, and they just go straight for it no matter where it is. <laughs> How did you even get it that high? I jumped! <laughs> you just yeeted that bitch. I love doing that on this map because they don't fucking understand how to deal with it. <laughs> I killed Hannah Graham. Good. He deserved it. They all deserve it. Wait. Would you say that that sprinkler is lost in the sauce? Absolutely. That was a delayed splat, what the fuck? Oh, that's a delayed one. But they don't have much turf to ink. <laughs> oh, but we're gonna wipe out ourselves. <laughs> These guys are still going over to the sprinkler. <laughs> I'm just waiting for them to go over there so I can kill them. Why was that dude just spitbagging in the middle of the fight? <laughs> I think they've given up. You know what? I'm, I'm cool with that. I mean, there's no way they're winning. Uh, they have 40 seconds. They could easily get it with wipe out. No, because we're too good. We'll never lose because we're good. Good game. Why did you save me? I tried. I got it. You should have died. Oh, thanks, you know. <laughs> you you, you avenged me. me. But are you fed up with this world? Yeah, I fucking am fed up with this world. I finally died. Fucking hilarious just seeing them hop in place, wasting all of their ink trying to hit the goddamn sprinkler. Oh, yeah, because the At wall doesn't point, count as a surface. Three of them trying to shoot it. And the, the wall doesn't count as a surface, so it's just not sticking either. Yep. There's literally no way they could hit that without having a long range weapon. I forgot to swap gear, so I, I still have the fucking Splat ST equipped. I forgot to scrub it, too. Wow. Nice. That's real scrub behavior. Shut up. <laughs> I only died once. Jesus. I might as well just leave it equipped. God, we destroyed them. Holy shit. Pal, you got 13 kills. What the fuck? <laughs> I make my throne atop the corpses of my enemies. I'm you failed to reach the joyful throne. I distracted throne. them, you killed them, and then Spike and Dennis did all the rest of the work. I got a home, uh, home base anchor and enemy base anchor. I just stuck by my sprinkler the whole time. <laughs> uh oh, corruption. Can't believe Metroid Prime 3 is in the lobby. Metroid Prime Where Trilogy Metroid Prime has Prime some Prime. of the best games Nintendo's ever published in Metroid Prime 3. I remember when you used to say that about Metroid Prime 2. 
and then you played it, and then you're like, never mind, this one's good. Yeah, because I had heard that Prime 2 didn't age as well as the first one, but then I ended up loving it and being way more disappointed with the third one. I, I don't... I don't want to get into why I don't like Prime 3 all that much, because I will be streaming the Prime Trilogy uh, once Prime 4 finally has a trailer. I'll see you uh, in 2030. Got a, got, a couple, got a couple years with <laughs> Uh, yep. Yeah, well, I mean, either that or I'll do it for uh, my May streams when I do Metroid Mania. Yeah? To be honest, though, we like to be kind of that. I don't want to be like, oh, we'll see it soon, but I mean, at uh, this point, it's been, couple, it's, been, it's, been, it's, it's been a couple years. I think it's been long enough that next year we are absolutely really seeing the trailer. If we don't see a trailer this someone's, year, we're seeing Oh, someone's, someone's camping, here. by the way. Uh, if you go, keep hanging on the left when you spawn. They're just sitting oh, yeah. there. I can, I, can. I, I, tried to, I tried to get them, but they have an umbrella, so they're kind of annoying to get. But they're basically just sitting there as a a, a beacon to just hide. Yeah, like, they're just sitting, yeah, they're literally hanging right behind you. Behind you. No, no, no. Well, not behind you, I mean, I'm sorry. They're behind the thing. Yeah, there you go. They're standing in a spot where you can't get them unless you jump down, and they, like, insta-kill you when you do, so that's how they got me. Well, I hit Inked almost their entire base, so... But yeah, they were basically using themselves as a free, like, beacon. Yeah, and they're trying to do it again. Oh well. I mean, I, you know what? If they want to hang there... Yeah, yeah they're back I'll, over uh, here. I, I can get them again. Yeah, I'll just Ink. Oh! Not really yeah, I've got the Blob Wobber, so I can distract them with the sprinkler and then uh, bubble them. Oh, he's not chilling up here. Move. Okay. Yeah, because they finally noticed that I inked literally their entire base, and now I'm back in it. There's a jackass in our base, actually. Yeah, I figured. I can't get back up. Maybe I can. You can warp to the spawn point. Oh yeah, I always forget about that, but also I don't want to do it. Uh, oh god, this asshole's back. Cobalt Hail, by the way. Oh my god, what happened to our base? Holy fuck. I'm not too concerned about it, because I'm concerned about just getting in the middle. Now I'll get the base if I respawn, I'll have a few seconds to make count. I got 1,430 points out of that. Yeah, look what I, I did with their know, base. Because it's so off. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> they held mid. But they, they took <laughs> mid, but nothing else. They didn't even take their own base. They literally just let me have free reign of their base. They didn't even try to stop me. The guy with That's the umbrella was up there and then he so dropped. Busy. They were basically so busy just at the spawn, just instead of actually spawning at their base, they would instantly hop to a camper on our end. So God, that, that's such a terrible strategy, own. though, because they literally just let me ink their entire base. But that's fucking... I, I never killed anyone, but I also never died. It's not that bad of a strat if... Someone actually goes and checks the base every now and then. Yeah, they look. If they don't fucking do it. <laughs> well, I mean, they did push me off for a bit, but they didn't bother stopping me when I went back up, so I was able to ink their entire base twice. So, I don't know what their game plan was, but it was not working for them. Earth Slider is growing on me. I wasn't a big fan of it at first. It's really good. What? The Reef Slider. Oh. It's okay. Uh oh, it's Big Papa. Oh god, they have a Blob Lover. Our battle so shall we. be legendary! <laughs> Battle shall be leg. <laughs> like the edit where it's just burger. Rush forward and didn't even cover our goddamn spawn. 
<laughs> so we'll do it on a respawn so you can get a push back up. Or I'll do it. It's it. fine, I'll do it myself, don't worry. Look, I, I saw it on Reddit, this is a smart thing to do. Yeah. All of you That's think why I hop like, oh, on God. That's why I hop like a maniac in Halo whenever someone remotely starts shooting at me in any direction. Alright, we got someone camping in our base. I see him. Ah, I died. But he died too. Because I killed him. With a gun. You didn't really thought. What? An umbrella user really thought that they could just get me. Okay, see, I don't, I don't think that's true. Well, they clearly have, they have their shield up, but I'm like, no, I'll just drop my special arm. Okay, they all kind of converged on me. Oh, thanks. You know what are you doing? Uh, pissing off a dude that was off on the left. He didn't quite know where the spring place was flying him from. <laughs> <laughs> uh, left wing destroyed. Creature resigned. He just shot him 27 times in the torso. Where is danger? Danger's now, we got someone in our base. It's Beacon again. I've I am having a blah 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 fight right now, so I cannot help. I must kill him. Did you win? No, he ran. What the pussy? <laughs> the fucking dude who was in our base saw me spawn in and then stopped when I stopped moving towards him. <laughs> <laughs> he just kinda hung around for a moment waiting for me. Oh, the hey, I got the blob lobber. There's two blob lobbers on opposing teams, they just have to fucking fight. Oh, yeah, blob lobbers will just gun right for each other. Deacon, you're not really sneaky. Oh, there's another guy over here. Oh, no, he's just laggy. Oh, there's the blob lobber too. Okay. Oh, oh well, we fucking won. Yeah. Hey. Dennis, why is your title Peppy Senior? Because <laughs> you, you you just noticed. Yes. I don't really like the uh, jet squelcher, gonna be honest. I'm not a big fan of it either. The better question is, why isn't yours? Because I'm trying to get the dragon title so I can be referred dragon. Because I hate old people. <laughs> I live next door to one, I, I feel that. I don't really need to get into issues about my family on Twitch, but uh... Having an old family member next door is not fun. Oh, you're a bad person. No. She's the bad person. Oh, no, I am not. It is not me <laughs> in this case. Uh, don't worry. You can both be bad people. Germs! Huh? Wait, what? Vermont? His name is Germs! Germs! <laughs> oh my god, it's John. Words don't work, John. <laughs> it's John McCracker. <laughs> <laughs> no, Racist. John, you're you doing are doing a bad Twitch. Well, well, the thing is, I'm white, so I actually can say it. You're the one who's going to get banned from Twitch because you're not white. I don't care. Fuck Twitch. Hey, Jeff Bezos. Fuck you. No, if you said it on your stream, you're getting banned for it. <laughs> uh, this is... Nobody knows I'm political. You literally just announced you were. No! I'm not. Is Jeff Bezos even still the owner of Amazon? I thought, he's, I thought he left. No. 
No, he still absolutely owns Amazon. Uh, I genuinely thought he left the company to focus on philanthropy and putting the giant I mean, dick in space. Wait, what did no, no, not not you. I said, uh, I, think, I, I thought he left the funny. company to focus on philanthropy and putting the giant dick in space. No, that's that's you. He already did that when he went up there. No, no, no. dude, he didn't even go fucking... up into space. No, it was almost space, but uh, his rocket looks like the fucking rocket that Doctor Evil rode in in Austin Powers. All of that stuff is pretty foul. Yes. Think about how I think about how I think it was Patrick Stewart who went up there. No, it was uh, right. it was William Shatner. William Shatner. Okay, I was like, I know someone related to space things. Uh, yeah, it was William Shatner went up there, and he was just like, yeah, I went up here and it was the most depressing thing that I've ever done in my entire life. Did you uh, read the little excerpt from his book about that? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Wait, what, what did he say about the thing? Uh. I don't remember exactly, but he was like, yeah, it was uh, super depressing going up in space because you realize that, you know, there's fucking nothing out there. <laughs> it was basically like where, you know, you get you go up there and you realize that what's down there is worth protecting and that something, something, why are we focusing on Why, why focus on the trying going up to space when there's so much the world kind of mindset. I like Someone the I tried talking headline. about it to Jeff Bezos after they came back down. Jeff Bezos was like, shut the fuck up, give me some fucking alcohol. I like the Onion article that like, came out about that, where it said that uh, William Shatner was happy that they finally made uh, something based off of Star Trek in space. <laughs> I can't believe space from Star Trek is real. The One Piece is real. I think we lost. Not that yep. much. We won a spiritual victory today. Germs' title is Goth Uncle. What the fuck? You mean a Gunkle? That would just be Uncle Fester from the Adams family. Okay, look, the joke wasn't that bad, okay? You can at least say something. <laughs> something. Ha ha ha. What a story, man. I kill you, you bastard. I still need to see that movie. Is that Are you gonna tell us why you didn't watch it? it? Huh? Are you gonna tell us why you didn't get to watch it again? No. <laughs> <laughs> Has anyone actually figured out where the fuck Tommy Lee's out or Wise out is from? Or <laughs> no? Hello. Wait, wait, these are the same guys! Germs is back. John is It's all of them. Map, except John is, was replaced with Hello. Well, it, it looks like. It looks like both of got him. Finally. That ending. Garfield, but it's Gorefield. Garfield, but it's just fucking normal. Bruh, it's look to it. your left, there's a fuck ton of bubbles following you. Are you stupid? Yes. <laughs> uh, see, I know exactly what you're gonna say before you say it. He wasn't even talking to me, though. <laughs> and yet you answered anyway. So did you! I was preempting you, actually. Don't you try to 5D chest this. I don't need to. You're playing checkers. I'm more Meanwhile, of a Batman I'm playing Shogi. And I don't understand them. Shogi is easy. At least I learned the rules. Shout out to when Dennis and I, I mean, were playing Clubhouse games and we exactly had the most embarrassing game no of chess play. known to man. We're white. I said shout out to when you and I were playing clubhouse games and we had the most embarrassing game of chess known to man. Oh, so made third grade chess club cringe. 
what was bad about the game? I forget. Everything. Bro, we literally were down to like three pieces each. That's how chess can go. There was not a single thought going through either of our heads, and we switched to Mario Kart in our base. because of how embarrassing that game was. And he fucking killed me before I could do anything. I mean, I wouldn't say it was embarrassing, it just... It was interesting. interesting. I was second-hand embarrassed way too. What, what, and what I haven't played chess... Thing? And I haven't played chess in like... Dennis... Forever. The fact that you don't understand why it's embarrassing proves you don't understand chess. It's not. I'm just He's playing. a himbo. It's okay. He's a stupid cat. Oh. Well, you know what is embarrassing is that Checkers and Clubhouse games doesn't follow the pretty much universally established house rule of if you have, are, have a piece that can capture your opponent piece, you have the option to take it rather than a piece that you are forced to take it. Clubhouse game says you're forced to take it, and every single person I know man rejects it. Because it's a fucking stupid Except apparently rule. this game. It's like the auction rule in Monopoly. Nobody ever uses that. I didn't even know it was a thing until I finally read the rules. I only know it's a thing because there is a Monopoly video game on the Sega Genesis that has the option of the site. Uh, what are you talking about? Speaking of shogi, though, I still need to get an actual shogi board. Oh yeah, Dennis, uh, if I can ever get you to come over again, uh, we have a Gomoku board. We can literally play Gomoku. I come over? Go. go. Either one. And well, this is actually a Go board, from what I know, not a Gomoku board. But it's just, the, the, the boards are essentially identical. Yeah. I mean, I have found a few good cards. Also, Bell, I believe I have extended an invitation to you before, and your exact words for it were, no thank you, I'd rather not get shot. No. <laughs> I've changed my mind. I welcome death. <laughs> you can come down here. It will require me to go to your state, and I think that's worse off than where I am. I don't think so. We're good, God-fearing, Christian, Jesus-loving individuals down here. <laughs> That's exactly my point. Is there a problem with that, sinner? Yes. Well, bless your heart. Did either of us ever... Tell Dennis that we got a uh, Senate set and a Royal Game of Ur set. I think I told him that you got two ancient board games, and I forgot what they were called at the time, so I didn't tell him what they were. Nice. Uh, I am. But a yeah, I have a Senate and a Royal Game of Ur. Alright, before I open up the lobby, it's kind of a moot point at this point, but I'm going to fix the goddamn background, so just give me a moment here. Are you going to switch out of your Splatfest tea? Yes. I'm proud of you. Well, I'm going to need to bug out for a moment to go cover up the birds. Alright, well, that's just good timing, I guess. <clears throat> Let me take a moment. <coughs> oh, my throat. Does your throat see hurt? Don't ever say that again. Never say the word thrusty again. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Sorry, what word? <laughs> I'm not saying it. Alright. Selfie snapping Squid Sisters fan. Oh, I got a catalog upgrade? Or a catalog level up? Oh, did I pass level 20? Ooh. It's a mystery box. What's in it? A single drink ticket. Fuck you.
sure you guys can hear Bandit in the background. Open up a wall. Actually, let's wait for Zeno. And as a matter of fact, this will actually give me a moment to refill my drink, so I will be right back. Don't just say squap in my chat. Alright, still waiting on Zeno. Let's see on. Nice, I just realized Zeno's Discord reactive is uh actually an image that I cropped myself. That's from one of the Monster Hunter Rise uh, art posts that they did. That's... I think it was just how they did the concept art for Monster Hunter Rise. And uh, I cropped that image as Feline Pog. And I think that's actually still an emote in my server. 
What? What? Alright, I'm just gonna start a lobby if you guys are ready. There you okay. go. Here. Oh, no, it's just another map. Alright, excuse me. <coughs> Every time I burp, I taste the fucking chicken that I have to burp lunch. Lobby's open. I gotta pretend like I didn't hear that. Which part? Uh, oh, there's Zeno. We already got a lobby, so. Okay, uh, I'm still gonna be a moment, so if you guys just wanna do a match. Alright. And I'll join after that. Time to kick ass. You chew bubblegum. I'm gonna rip your head off and faint at the sight of blood. You're an inspiration for birth control. If you don, pay me, you lime. If you dookie, you nookie. So, oh, how many uh, Duke Nukem games have you beaten, Spike? None. That's sad. I never got around to finishing any of that. Wow. You're a fake gamer, girl. Ooh, ooh. Go home, gamer girl. <laughs> I, I think in my mass media class, I actually brought up the fucking Law and Order SVU Gamer Game episode. I heard it was better than Civilization V with the Brave New World expansion. And Ice-T has come so far. Has he? Well, you know, in his debut album as Body Count, he was singing about killing cops in a song succinctly titled Cop Killer. <laughs> now he plays one on TV. Character development. We see who else is going to translate all that hip lingo the kids are using these days. 90s were like 30 years ago. Yeah, but then we got Zoomers now, so. Uh, they actually. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, the 90s actually were almost 30 years ago. What do you mean almost? They're they are already 30 years ago. Hey, I'm, I'm trying not to feel. That old. You're like 12, it's okay. <laughs> he's only three years younger than oh, me. Yeah, Sinky's the one who's 12, he's only 20. Uh, thanks, buddy, for not dying fast enough. I fell off the goddamn pillar. You know, sometimes you gotta kill fast, and bullets are just too slow. <laughs> Eat ass, smoke grass, and slug fast. Also, uh, that one moment I mentioned about me just swimming around someone using the ink bath, I was actually able to grab a clip of it. Dude was fucking panicking. I love fucking with ink bath users, because the ink bath fucking sucks. Because it I doesn't mean, it actually does stop actually... anyone. It does drain the ink in, uh... Like they're stored ink as well as any ink that they shoot out. So it is actually useful. It's just, you can just sit there in the ink and not do shit. If it actually like sucked up ink that was on the ground, that would be strong. And I think that if you have somebody else with you, if you're, you know, 
using the ink yeah. back, you've got a buddy back in the up and good, because, you know, they're not going to be able to just stare at you when they've got another guy shooting at them. That's right. true, but they usually end up going solo or they end up backing themselves into a corner, and they're not invincible when the ink back is active, because other specials can still hit them. Yeah, but the only other specials. Yeah, but and I mean, I like, so. I backed an ink back guy into a corner and reef slid right into him. Okay, but that relies on you actually having the reef slider ready when that situation happens. Yeah, normally what I do is I just waltz up in front of them, stare them down, and then when I fi they fire the shot, when I see them readying it, I just step to the side. <laughs> I've done that a couple times. fucking around with the slider. If me saying that though, all I can think of is that one video of the two guys on a boat and they're yelling at a much bigger boat and then when it cuts to the bigger boat you just see a captain going ba 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 and he just rams into them. God, not that fucking video. I have no idea what you're talking about. I need to send you that video. I'm not gonna watch it. I'm out of ink. Oops. You haven't even out of the base yet. Yeah, because I covered half of it. <laughs> I'm glad we've got you to do all the hard work. I think they may have an AFK guy. did for a moment, because there was someone just standing on their base. Honestly, he probably didn't notice that the match started. <laughs> Mike, don't die. Help. What the fuck? I killed someone, and after they were dead, and the game clearly showed me that they were dead, they were still firing at me. Yeah, they were and killed me. Oh, a lot of them are laggy. It just happened again. Wait, am I the laggy one? I'm unwired. Hold up. No, I think it might be them. You know, that reminds me. When I hooked up a certain video game console to my router recently, I thought, you know, hey, I'm on a wired connection, but apparently on certain Sony platforms you have to actually specifically state that you're on a wired connection. Why? I don't know. It's not just a plug and play thing. You gotta like specifically set up a wired connection. That's yeah. Does this certain console have a five in its name? Yeah. Oh well that is one. Like, what is going on outside? I don't fucking know. I didn't just hear gunshots again, did I? No, those were absolutely not gunshots. Okay, I, I'm very curious how many crimes have been picked up by my fucking mic on the street. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure one of the times when we were doing one of these, we literally just heard a drive-by out of my microphone. Welcome to Chicago, get your shit and get out. I don't think I'm going to come visit, actually. Oh, we lost. I froze. So, that is actually... No, I didn't. Okay. Yeah, my game was just chilling there on that screen for a bit.
The true ultimate Pearl fan. Okay, well, they were definitely the problem on the team. Nah. Pearl's a fucking goblin. <laughs> she absolutely is. She's still better than Callie, at least. Because Pearl at least had a personality. Callie didn't even have that. Wow, dude. Pearl was like a fucking goblin. Marina was a goofball. Shiver is snarky. Fry is energetic. Big Man is an absolute dweeb. Mar uh, Marie is, big... is a snarky bitch, and Callie is just not Murray. <laughs> anyway, I didn't play the first one, so I don't actually know anything about them. Uh, Marie... Callie was just normal. Marie just hated life. <laughs> oh no, it's Tom, though. God, I, oh God, I really want to play Animal Crossing again, especially after that dream. Oh no, it's top tier rat. You know what? Fuck that guy. Let's rat, kick his rat. fucking ass. We are the rat. Fucking squat uh, ass motherfucker. Stop saying that, man! God, I'm gonna have to get an emote of that at some point. At least until we forget about it and it's no longer funny. That'll be tomorrow. What? I'll write it down. You fucking bum rush mid and then turn back towards your spawn. <laughs> Get your ass over here. Hold up. Where are you? <laughs> you fucking bum, bum rush and then have the audacity to turn around. How do you have the audacity to do that? And that guy desperately tried to get his Tenta missiles out and fucking failed. <laughs> One of my Tesla missiles, yeah. Damn it. <laughs> oh no, I just forgot that I had the fucking. Uh, shit, what's it called? The shower curtain. <laughs> I, I really don't remember the name of it. What's it called? Shower oh, curtain. hey, our spawn is purple. The splash wall? <laughs> yes, yes, that. I completely, completely blanked on the name. Wait, then our spawn grenades. is purple, and yet they're the ones in danger. Hold on. Oh, that's <laughs> I mean, this one's yellow, so... Oh, first time being there, actually, I'm covering it. The dude who's in our base tried to get off his Tenta missiles, he turned around, started them, stared at me, I just waited, he fired, and while he couldn't do anything, I splatted his ass. <laughs> we had a very brief stare down. I think he knew his time was up. We're just gonna make their spawn piss yellow. Uh, right? Zeno, you got a laggy roller behind you. Uh, yeah, he fucking teleported it into me, killed me, teleported away, and then back. <laughs> the fuck out of here, Papa. Oh, hey, look. Right here. Oh, it's the laggy roller. <laughs> There's always gonna be like a laggy roller or a laggy charger. Why is it always the NLG fucking weapons that have the laggiest users? It's always the try-hard shit. Well, you know. Ow. What? Oh, we destroyed them. I had a communication error. Oh, Rip. so you were the problem. Right at the end. Oh, I'm gonna cry. Motherfucker. 57.8 to 34.6, Jesus. You're still on the wind screen, though. <laughs> Mid. Oh, and of course, the fucking multiple. Wait, what do you mean multiplayer maps and modes have updated?
Are we all backed out? No, hold on, I'm joining. Oh, something that wants me. There you go. Oh, we're in a battle. Oh, well, I guess I'll just... Sit here. It's fine. Well, let's uh, play Ghost from day another three. I actually could play it, I guess. Oh. oh my god, we have a teammate that's actually covering spawn. What the fuck? Uh, yeah, I wonder who that like normally is. Head, covering spawn is overrated. Oh god, there's tons of missiles here, too. Normally, I'm the one who covers spawn. Zeno. I cover half teams... of it and then go forward. Fuck. Someone on our team's name is Lucas with a cross. Oh, I don't like, like them. Like the biblical one. I, I, I put all that in his name. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean they they have like. Yeah, boss. I'm very surprised like, that Nintendo allowed that one specific user to name himself Lucas with a cross in his name, like a biblical one. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you for explaining the joke. I still love that one dream I had where I was getting my ass handed to me by a Splatoon user named Flatulus Maximus, and the least believable part of it was that the name would fit. Because <laughs> Flatulus Maximus is absolutely a name a Splatoon user would have. Just like oh, Staniel, Kyler, and Wet Toast. <laughs> and Chumster. Chumster. <laughs> and Squap. <laughs> God damn it. I like that name. Are we just all gonna chill on this tower? <laughs> yeah, I, I hope you guys are having forward. a good time there. Like, you know, it's fine. I'll just hang out in the lobby, just inking everything. You guys just have the time of your lives. It's not like I need Don't to be worry. there. It's not like I'm streaming or anything. I'm know? in the just... lobby too. We can be in the lobby together. Just the two of us. Okay, you don't need to make it weird. You kept <laughs> circling around me and could, did not. Like, they had the advantage of the fact that I was, like, not even really moving up from my spot and just spinning. And they died. Oh, well, you know what they say about spinning? Do we? Well, yeah, they say it's that a good my trick. name is. They say my name is Genome Soldier. And I like to speed. Are you recording? <laughs> if you have to ask, you'll never know. What, what are you quoting? I demand to know. Fucking Vine Sauce playing Metal Gear Solid. Vinny, Vinny playing Metal Gear Solid and doing the spin game. Uh, I forgot they wanted me off that tower. Holy shit. <laughs> Free fucking ink <clears throat> strikes. Landed on me on the tower. <laughs> oh. Well, you know what they say. Tactical move incoming. <laughs> I feel like Splatoon would be improved by kill streaks. Yeah, I want to like fucking jump into a fucking gunship and shoot people. I didn't die at all. I got on the tower and never fucking died. So what you're saying is you were camping. Oh no, I was fucking camping, absolutely. Oh, joy, <laughs> finally I get in the match. Hey guys, how's it going? Hey, but more importantly, I'm in the match. I'm the one who's streaming. It's your own stream. What is streaming? I, I can't think of something funny in this game. Ignore it. You're never that funny. Thank you. I, I really appreciate uh, that our friendship is as strong as it is, pal. We are mortal enemies. <laughs> <laughs> Awful Memes. cat. Memes. <laughs>
games. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Waffle Cat is a furry. Oh, it's memes. Memes. Right well, uh, speaking of furries, why are there just so many furry posts in the lobby of uh, Splatoon 3? Did every furry just suddenly discovered a game or something? Oh, they're already like, there. Splatoon 2 lobby? Jesus. That's, well, that's because they draw lots of art and art posts get, like, booyahed or whatever. Or they get the fresh. Like, when you fresh a post, it gets more noticed and, like, it'll show up in more people's uh, lobbies. And. Is that what that does? Yeah. The more upvoted it is, the more it's gonna appear. So it because it's like a popular like post. So naturally, oh, thanks for the, the gold. Fact, oh, thanks stranger. for killing the bow. <laughs> he was <laughs> hitting me down. I well, he wasn't move. exactly looking to his left until the very last yeah, second. Considering <laughs> the fact that our posts are what get like more, they're gonna get attention. That's why it's. I mean, I, every time I see a furry art post, I usually just crush it. Really reported. Right. <laughs> Fucking ink wall out of here. Put that there. Fuck off. It was the Mars one, wasn't it? And there was the. Damn, I was gonna oh, okay. jump to you. What the fuck just happened? <laughs> you Are probably you... stop using dualies, but I don't wanna. Have you tried, like, reloading your Switch, maybe? Oh god! Ah. Uh, well, I guess you could tough it out for 30 minutes. Yeah, I mean, it ha it's been fine, like, this whole time. You'll Off be okay. the ink wall, you bitch. Oh, I yeah, you know what? That's gonna, that's gonna do it. I kind of forgot that that's the whole thing today. I'm good with still going. I'm probably still... Get the ink wall out of here. Jesus, fuck off. Well, I mean, I need to make progress in this darn thing anyways. The, on the in the battle pass, because I've been playing. I have been playing other stuff. Oh, oh you yeah. mean the other Back to the Future item? Yeah, like the the goofy headset that. It's like the goofy headset that Doc wears in Back to the Future it's World. It's like the goofy thing that, like, past Doc has. It's, 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 it's like you could read your mind thing. That's, that's totally what that is. It, it's like a metal strainer with some other shit attached to it. Yeah. Something like that. It's basically much, from yeah. the scene, it's from the scene when Marty first meets up with Doc in the past and is trying to convince them that he's from the future and he's too preoccupied with his current experiment of a big old like metal helmet that can potentially read someone's mind and that's what that's from. So clearly after three items this is not a fluke they're just straight up having items that are referenced to back in the future. Right, the first item was the hat what was the other item? The, sun the the sunglasses that are just basically solid a metal sheet. Ah, okay. Both of those are part of future outfits from the far off future of 2015. Oh, and they're referring to N. With the guy named M, let's say. Like they had referred to it as that one popular sci-fi film about time travel. 
Well, let's say we'll call this character M. <laughs> I'm like, oh, you get activated. You also got to play uh, both uh, AI the Sami and Files games, which are great. The sequel has a character voice by Crazy D. Yep. Yep, he so voice is uh, Radatasker. So is Viola's, uh, or Viola, why did I say Viola? Viola's voice actress for in Bayonetta is also in Battlefield. Really? I like this new trend of uh, voice actors streaming games there in on Twitch. Yep, a lot of Fire Emblem voice actors and so far, one voice actor from each uh, Xenoblade game has done it. I mean, there's the original voice actor's stream stuff that is critical role. True. Sure. Where they're it's literally just a bunch of voice acting friends and colleagues. And in some cases, like, just married couples. Wait, are you actually the laggy one? Yeah, I wouldn't buy it. I was going to go out with it. Cassidy just tried running around the corner and didn't expect a barrage of bubbles to just randomly fucking appear. <laughs> oh god. Mike, I just saw you looking the fuck out. <laughs> Holy shit. We only won because they didn't cover parts of their spawn. forget is what's is high or low ping what's bad high ping high ping is bad Zero thoughts had empty. Maybe we should play Counter Strike. No, there's always today. Well, I guess not today. Why don't you play Gaze Mob? 
Fuck yeah, this guy. Honestly, I briefly... I reinstalled Gary Spawn and meant to maybe play something in it, but then I was like, eh. I'm good for right now because it was late and there wasn't really any servers that were online that I was like particularly interested in joining. <laughs> yeah, Gary's mod still regularly played. And so it's TF2 and Counter Strike Story. Well, obviously, the good, thing about, the good thing about those games is that they uh, don't have like. It's not just like peer based matchmaking kind of thing, it's people set up their own servers and. You could, as long as that server is open, you could just hop in at any time, and people will just hop in servers. Yep. that I'm using in that for some reason they did, didn't have the foresight to enable that or them sound themselves because that's very easy to do when you're like an admin or mod of the server and you would think for that specific situation to prevent that from happening you can do that and apparently they didn't think of that very obvious precaution. <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately, um, a lot of characters on the communities are like that, which is partially why I don't exactly play it. Well, actually, even when I did play it, I stayed away from those kind of servers anyways, because they're just not fun. Like, not only is the whole shock, like, the shock value part of it, like, you know, ooh, like, I'm an edgy team, like, look at this server, like, it's just kind of silly. And just very offensive and kind of annoying to deal with, but when you when you have that kind of server, you just invite the worst people anyways, that just make it extra not fun. So I just avoided those anyways. <laughs> oh, where are the great people that you met? <laughs> and then there's there's Tower Unite, which I'm like I've already talked about this before. I've just, been just repeating this before. They didn't exactly uh, make the right people welcome, and the community isn't very fun to be in. Very much a rule to just ignore and turn off global chat when you're playing Tower Unite if you want to have. Fun. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, they didn't do enough to, to make the, those those white people welcome, so they went to VR chat. Alright, 
we have a sniper on the tower. Can someone please try and take him out? No. They can, no, they can, they can enjoy a tower. I think you need to pull yourself up by the scratch and handle it yourself. I've been trying. Try harder. Sorry, I don't, I don't, I don't do that. I don't like I don't, I don't do that. Oh my god, finally got him. Jeez. Right. You know what? The Nintendo Switch used to have games. Oh. Uh, censored by the, They were censored by the media. Yes. No, the lame street media. media. I mean, no, our victory winning. is not legit. We have been dishonored. You know, in their you, base cheated with not, <laughs> you cheated not only the game, but yourself. They targeted gamers. <laughs> uh, that sucks. I guess we lost it all. Yeah, at the end there, I just went in their base and started squid bagging in their spawn. <laughs> Don't worry, it's Splatoon. It was a connection error. I was kind of hoping the one that, uh... DC was the, uh... Sniper, because that would have been funny. Because then you know it was a rage quit. And anyone using the Clash Blaster as well. More like the Trash Blaster. Hold up, we got two of the same guys. What the fuck? Yeah, Nat is the uh, sniper. This is taking awfully long time. There we go. Oh, they swapped to a Splatana. Oh, someone already DC'd. What the shit? Yep. When? It might not. Yeah, oh, there it is. Rip. I guess we'll find out in a moment. Because it wasn't Nat. Nope, it was Frage. I was kind of hoping it was going to be Nat or Taka. <laughs> Oh, you're a bullet. I don't think I can be friends with a swap like you. Oh, god. Someone else did on our team. Wait, what the fuck? Who else did Objective, see? survive. Me? All of us. Ah. Don't answer all at once now. <laughs> I do not like that title combination game. Nobody. Uh, not me. 
I think we're all I out. I think we all disconnected. Yeah, I think the lobby just fucking died. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, I suppose. That's fine. Okay, bye Rogue Squad. That's not my name. Nope. Nah. Uh, Wappler all, we are off. I, I couldn't help it. That was too good. <laughs> Why don't you get the quick clip? That doesn't stop you from getting the clip. Uh, actually, it's called a magazine. <laughs> you know, I wanted to say that when he said the thing about the Uzi, but, you know... <laughs> this entire fucking segment. <laughs> Fuck you. 